Hello everyone and welcome to Wednesday. Today we are going to be doing an Xbox One unboxing, uh, which is very, very exciting. But before we jump into that, I wanted to show off the completed ornament that Mal got yesterday um, because she did a glass blowing class yesterday and um, she was able to pick up the ornament today. So check it out. That is the completed product. It is very pretty and colorful. And uh, we're sending that to Mal's mom for Christmas. So it'll be late. Yes. <laughs> I couldn't do the class till yesterday, so. Yeah. Well, Christmas is tomorrow, so. If it, if it gets there by tomorrow, then uh, Santa Claus was definitely involved. And now onward to the meat and potatoes of this vlog, which is the Xbox One unboxing. A few days ago, we were with uh, Mr. Chugger Conroy, and we did a, I, I want to say a gift exchange, but we had Christmas. We had a, a Christmas amongst ourselves, and one of the things that... Uh, Emil very over generously gave us was an Xbox One. So we are opening it today. Uh, we actually just did an unboxing video for a PS4 because we just got a PS4 not long ago so uh, we could do Far Cry 4, Little Big Planet 3, Uncharted 4, whenever that comes out. Um, but the Xbox One I'm excited for because one, all of my friends are Xbox people. Like, really like Xbox and they're gonna get Xbox so if we want to play games together Xbox One's gonna be the thing to own. And also the Halo Master Chief Collection, which I'm terribly excited about. And actually, Emil also got us an extra controller, the Master Chief Collection, Sunset Overdrive, and the 12-month Xbox Live Go membership, which was a lot of stuff. He did not need to go, he did not need to do all that stuff, but we appreciate it. Uh, but we're not going to be opening that. We're just going to be opening up the system. So, this is the Assassin, Assassin's Creed Unity Bundle, and it's got like a jacket thing on it. A sleeve. A sleeve, and also it's got a thing, and I need something to cut this. And good. Okay, so we got the sleeve off. There's a nice little handle, and this is. Uh, I guess this is just something they put on for the thing. This is what the Xbox One box actually looks like. I really like the um, the box design. To be the honest, simplicity. I love. Yeah, simplicity is a good thing, but. Um, this one looks really nice. I don't remember exactly what the PS4s look like, but I remember liking it. But I think this one I like better. But I'm also partial to green, so that might be part of it. Xbox One still comes in... Um, you can still get the Xbox One with the Kinect. This one does not have it with it. But also the Kinect's not really... I want to say it's not worth owning anymore, but it's really not. Um, it would have been worth it if it would still have been required to have. It's an unpopular opinion, I know. But uh, with... With it not being something that's included, developers have no incentive to develop for it. And uh, even though they sell it with it, it's not something I would recommend to people. So if you can get it without it, which you should be able to, just get it without it. I really don't feel like there's a point in having one at this point. So open this thing up and see if I can just kind of lay this flat so you guys can see as we pull this thing out. There's a piece of styrofoam and... That's interesting. This is. Pop this sucker open. Kepler has found. He thinks it's a house, but it's not a very good house. So we open this up. Uh, down this back. There's a bunch of stuff. Box here. of goodies. Get equipped. Team up or challenge a friend with a second wireless controller, which we have courtesy of a mail. Recharge while you play or after it's the play and charge kit. And um, there's a 14 day trial of Xbox Live Gold. This is the codes to download the games. They're not actual physical games, they're codes for it. And there's a little pamphlet on some stuff related to Assassin's Creed. A quick setup guide in which it tells you how to plug something into the wall in case you're confused about that sort of thing. This is another Xbox Live Gold trial. What? <laughs> okay, two for some reason. And then the full instruction manual, which is only a few more pages than the quick setup guide. Alright, so what do we got here? This is the... Eh, this is the controller, which I love, by the way. I really, really do... I really, really do like the controller. One thing about the controller that's different than the PlayStation 4s... And the also, color bar? Huh? The color bar? Well, yeah, it doesn't have a color bar like the PS4, but also this one takes batteries. Hmm. Um, so you can pop this open and you can actually put batteries in here, which is something you can't do with the PlayStation 4 or the Wii U Pro Controller. Could be a pro or a con, depending on how you look at it. So I'll hand it over there if you want to get a better look at that. It does come with batteries, they're Duracells. 
which is probably what, which is what we own anyway. So, um, also included. I is, love the thumbsticks. Yeah, the the ridges, the ridges around the thumbsticks. Um, in my opinion, the Xbox 360 controller was better than the PlayStation 3 controller. It's just more comfortable. I mean, I'm not partial to any particular system that's a better setup, but. They, they managed to improve on the 360 controller with this. I really do love it. Um, I like it a lot. Although, I think the jump from PS3 to PS4 controller was better and bigger than 360 to Xbox One. Anyway, just my opinion on a few things. Also comes with a headset, which is nifty. Also, the PS4 also did, but it's not a headset. It's like earbud things. Uh, we've got the... Infamous power brick comes with all the. I say all the Xbox. All the brick supplies. <laughs> Look at that thing! It's like a freaking. It's like a gun. Uh, we've also got the other part of the power adapter, and then what I assume is yes, comes with an HDMI cable. So that was all the stuff that was in that box. I like that uh, setup for that box. Obviously, the box of the Xbox One is is much bigger. Um, but also the system itself is much bigger, and that's the only other thing in this box, I'm pretty sure. So if we take this out, it's covered in... It's a birthday cake. <laughs> oh, the cake is not alive. Let's open this thing up. And here we go. This is the back of the thing. Now, similar to the PS4, because we just did the PS4 unboxing, this is the first time I've ever been this close to the system itself, because any time we've ever seen it, it's been behind a glass case but this is the xbox one there's been a lot of jokes about it being huge but i don't feel like it's that big it is a big console it's bigger than the ps4 but it's not that big it's not xbox one huge h-u-e-g but uh maybe this it's probably as big is it it's the size of our vcr player yeah maybe it is i guess it is bigger it, i don't know it doesn't seem that large to me it's definitely bigger than the PS4, but not by a whole lot. I know I remember people saying how big it was, and I, I don't know, it doesn't seem that huge. Anyway, so um, there's a wireless button over here for wire to make wireless work. I don't know. Maybe a maybe it's for syncing controllers. Slot. I believe that's the. I guess this is the power button, and it's one of those touch things. It's very pretty. It's got the logo on the front, and then on the back. Um, it's got HDMI in from cable, which is one of the cool things that you can do with the Xbox you can't do with the PS4 is that you can actually plug a cable box into this so you can play a game and watch TV at the same time. Um, this is for the Kinect, which will be gathering dust very, very quickly. Um, IR out, Ethernet, uh, USB, uh, SPDIF, and power. And of course HDMI out. If that's power, what's this on the side? What's one on the side? Oh, charging? USB? Uh, yeah, another okay. USB port, port on the side because um, most of the systems, I mean, Wii U and PS4 have them on the front, and this doesn't, which is kind of odd, but I guess they didn't want that to be a thing, so it's on the side here. And only one, which once again is kind of an odd decision, so it's got three in total. I know the, the PS4's got two on the front, I don't know how many it has in the back, but... Having them in the front is kind of useful if you're going to charge a controller, so... Maybe they're trying to not get you to charge a controller, I don't know. Anyway, so there it is. Uh, now we got to figure out where we're going to put it. I guess we'll, we'll get rid of the Xbox, the normal Xbox, because we're not really using it right now. Um, and then put the 360 down there, put this on the top row, and then we'll have all of the current... God, I can say current gen. Current gen systems on that top row, so let's go ahead and do that. Actually, because the original Wii is so incredibly tiny, I just sat it on top of the Xbox, and I can keep the Xbox down there. So there's a bunch of old stuff down there, and all of the current gen are on the top shelf, which is pretty cool. So I got this hooked up. I don't know how to turn this on. I assume this is a button. Did you put batteries in it? I did put batteries in it. It's <laughs> glowing. That came on, so they are connected. Let's see what happens the first time we start this thing up. I'm expecting something. There's no sound because I have this hooked in. There we go. Now there's sound. <laughs> I assume that there's, there's supposed to be sound, so. It's making some dots. It's thinking. Dots are important. Uh, they can be, yes. 
Oh my god, it finally did something. We've been sitting on that screen for like two minutes. Yeah, that's the controller, yes. I have it in my hands. A button. <laughs> really? <laughs> I think I would have figured that out. Hi, English. Network, which one's yours? Uh, that one. Connecting to Magicant. And we d d did it. Presumably. <laughs> we presumably... Yes, we did it. Okay, good. Continue. Hold on a sec. Contacting service. Where do you live? <laughs> I live in the U.S. Thanks, Sega. It's time to update. Oh, God. Of course it is. Great. Half a gig. Uh, our options are start update or turn off Xbox entirely, so I guess it's time to update. Almost there. Yes! Press this button. Okay, I did it. Or do I have to, do I have to hold it? I hold it. Okay. I did it. I followed directions, Xbox. It's time to update. You don't need an update. <laughs> I know. Uh, where's your time zone? I actually live in Central America. No, Eastern time. Automatically adjust for daylight savings. Next. Next, you'll sign in with your Microsoft account. If you already have a game tag, use the email and password associated with your account. Okay, so it took me a while, but I finally got logged in. Your privacy is in your control. Okay. I believe you. Sign in and security preferences. On this Xbox, people can sign you in, change your settings, and buy things without extra steps. Ask for my passkey. We'll ask you for your passkey before you sign in, buy things, or change your settings. To sign in, buy things, or change, you'll need to... No, I don't, no barriers. <laughs> I just want to I may go wild and buy a bunch of oh, things. Oh yeah, I'll come home and I'll be like, no, you bought all the games. When you try on this Xbox, you can instantly be signed in, ready to play. Only one person can use it. Yes. Let's do that. Here's how you look on Xbox. Um, I look kind of small. <laughs> You do. I'm a tiny little... I'm a tiny little square inside a big square. Gamer tags look different. Okay. Pick a color. <gasps> How did it know? Oh wait, that's the Xbox colors. Pink. Okay. Your Xbox should look the way you want it to. I kind of like... I kind of like brown. But let's go with green. That's... Out of all of these, this is the one I would have probably chosen. Maybe... Maybe brown. I like brown also. What can brown do for you? Hi, Steven! Hi, Steven, again! Xbox off. <laughs> we don't have a connect. <laughs> I know. But I'm sure that you would have done it. Press the Xbox button to go to your home from anywhere. Why does that type look so... Okay, there it goes. Okay. The type had to load. Alright, so I did it. Press home button. I said... Is this it? Okay. Neat. Um... How do... Is this me? That's me. Who are you? I'm, I'm me, like, I'm, choose this person. Oh, okay, that's not what that, how do I alter my, set? what is this? I don't know, I don't want notification. How do I, how do I get to my profile from here? What do I look like, Dragon Ball? It says Drazen Ball. You see that? <laughs> Drazen Ball Z. Got any achievements or game clips you're particularly proud of? You can add them to your showcase. Your re reputation is good. Appear online, appear offline. Customize profile. Share real name. People I've blocked. <laughs> Let's not show the internet that. Uh, customize profile. Change gamer pick. Yeah, that's what I want to do because it gives you a big thing and like I'm tiny. Look at these scary things. <laughs> Look at the banana. I like the banana. I like the banana. What else is there? There's some weird stuff in here. This I thought was Mario for a second, but it's definitely not Mario. Let me give you a pretty good amount of selection here. And some stuff that looks to be... Maybe from a game... Some games I don't know. See the bottom left? Oh. Oh, that lets us use our thing? How do you... How do you know all this? You understand the UI better than I do. <laughs> oh, look, it's me! Gosh, you look funny. I look... What do you mean I look funny? I look... I look great! What are you talking about? Look at that. I'm I'm looking wonderful. Can I make myself like smile or something? Change pose. Okay, change pose. <laughs> Fall asleep. What? You jumped. It's my crotch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, that seems good. I did it. Save in picture to OneDrive. What? No. Save gamer pick. Save gamer pick. Yes. Because the old one was really tiny, and this one is f filling the frame. 
There we are. Okay, so now I'm uh, now I'm on there a bit. I have a little eight next to my name. Is that years? Maybe. I have no idea. Huh. Cool. When you do stuff like unlock achievements, you'll see crap here. Got it. All right. Cool. Well. Um. Neat. Anyway, that's the Xbox One. We went through most of the stuff. Um, I don't know if there's a way to hook up the cable to it without a cable box. I don't know if there's something that takes like a, um, a an RF adapter into or a coaxial into HDMI. I don't know if that exists. I also don't know if it's needed. Like I don't know if we'd ever use that. But anyway, uh, thanks again to Chugga Conroy for giving this to us. It was very generous, and um, we will be doing an LP of Halo Two in like the spring or something so we are going to get some use out of this and uh also i uh, i don't know anything really about sunset overdrive i've seen a few gameplay videos of it but it seems like the other game to own on um xbox one besides halo master chief collection so if i get some free time i i hope i get a chance to to check it out because I, I believe people have been enjoying it so anyway thank you so much for watching and uh let's move back tomorrow shall we for christmas not believe 2014 is nearly over. Well, right now there's just a bubble in there about the size of my thumbnail. Okay. It's just enough to create an airway into the piece of glass for you. And I'm just gonna pinch the glass right off the end of the blowpipe. You think my father's funeral was like this? I was too young. But I know his death broke the golden path. Hmm. Things would be different now if he died fighting. But he didn't. He was murdered. Murdered? Oh wait, what what happened? <laughs>